See, we got the picture. Now we can just make sure this picture works. So that I can be included. Oh, or I can be included, not just <laughs> side of my head. Oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you went to the barber shop. I, I see your one thing. It looks, looks good. Um, it is Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, still morning. It's, it's afternoon. Yeah, five thirty-one minutes. Uh, we're headed up to the uh, local Red Lobster. Um. Black Folks Steakhouse. <laughs> Celebration station for black people. Any, anytime you do something good, you gotta gotta follow it up with a trip to Red Lobster. Anyway, we're gonna do, we're gonna go see uh, go, go see family. Uh, Debbie's family has a uh, are are starting this. I, I I hate to call it a tradition, but they're starting this practice. And anyway, and it's dark in here. And I apologize for it being dark. It's just going to be dark because the sun's in the wrong place. Let's see if we can shed some light on the situation. Kind of, sort of. Uh, except for the sun is like right above the car. And it's like 1200 degrees. But in any case, uh, we're um, headed uh, to lunch. I don't normally get to go because I'm doing the radio show and don't get home in time, so. Because we normally do a breakfast, not well, they're doing, lunch. Well, they're doing the lunch on my account. No one out. Yeah, the sun, I'm sorry for the darkness, but the sun is just intense, intense. She's quite not light. Work out here. Uh, but in any case, so uh, we're, uh, we're heading up there now. It's not, it's, it's, it's not far from the house. We will not be doing a mukbang. No, we're not doing any mukbangs. We're not a mukbang family I'm yet. I'm not. <laughs> I can't talk him into it, folks. I'm all open for it. I'm not doing it. There you go. <laughs> uh, I got to tell you, uh, we got to tell you that, um, that we are now a podcast family. We are, we are now a YouTube family. Uh, you've not met him, but our son, Alex, has a... Um, has a brand new sports um, podcast called Buck, B-U-C-K, N, the letter N, Knowles, N-O-L-E-S, um, that stands for Buccaneers and Seminoles. We are Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans and Florida State Seminole fans. Uh, but he's going to cover he's going to cover sports um, and football generally from soup from soup to nuts. So he's that's the thing that you know that and photography he knows a lot about. Um, I know it's hard for you to believe that he was that he's opinionated. I don't know I don't know where her side of the family. I don't know where he gets that from. Uh, but he's got some pretty strong takes. So you might want to. No, he gets the meekness from me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else? What else? <laughs> but um, so we're. Um, so you want to check? So you, so you want to? Yeah. So you want to check that out? Um, called Buck in Knowles. If you just search for Alex Lawson, um, you can find it on YouTube. Um, it's also, also going to be a podcast on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts. Yeah, so you know, he, he went big right off the bat, so it's it, it's pretty cool. So I'm excited. I mean, we are excited for him. And, yes. and All right, anyway. Um, so we're going to um, head over to the um, Red Lobster. We 
should be there in a few minutes. It's about 1200 degrees and you can tell there's no AC in the car, but we're about to get that fixed hopefully this week. And um, Yeah, I can't. I the, can't. And the deal here I in can't. in in Central <laughs> Florida is that if your car, I mean, there are two things that you can get rid of, you can, that that's okay for you to get rid of your car about. Uh, one of them is a um, bad transmission or if your AC breaks. Nobody's going to fault you no matter how little money you make if you get rid of a car that the AC dies in. Nobody expects you to drive a car with no AC in, in, this, part, in this part of Florida. No, it's it, impossible. Everybody says, yeah, yeah, you had to get... I'm almost ready to sell the house if the AC go out. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what we are, so... We have AC in our home. Very, It works very nice. Yeah, we've got... <laughs> yeah, we found, finally found an AC guy who was uh, fairly inexpensive and really helpful. So the AC in the house is ridiculous. One morning I woke up, it was 72 degrees in the house. Now, I know that some of you like it colder than that, but I don't necessarily. I love it. Um, but but it was 72, and I was like, dang. Uh, I think we got to back that down a little bit because that's a little chilly. Um, but it works. But but it it, it works great. So, uh, but the car is a completely different thing. And we can open the window, but you get two things: you get noise, and the air comes in hot. It's not, it's not a gentle breeze. It's like being in a convection oven. All right. Well, let me get over here. All right, so we'll um, we'll do some more taping as the afternoon goes on. You can follow us around a little bit. Uh, we won't be going to Win Dixie today to do any taping. Uh, we tried. Wrote them an email. I have not heard back from them, so we won't we won't, we won't be going to Win Dixie. I told you to go on Twitter. Uh, I have not gone. On, I I've, I've not put them on blast on Twitter yet. Uh, except that I did. No, I did get their attention on Twitter, and they got back with me. And and I DM them and they haven't gotten back with me, so you know I'm like, man, they're not. They're not no Win Dixie for us. So we won't be going back. We'll be doing any Win Dixie. Publix, um, where shopping is a pleasure. Yeah, and it's a lot more expensive. <laughs> uh, but you know what? But sometimes it's worth the Some, ride. It's worth it. It's worth it. Sometimes and to have worth. somebody bag your your groceries and take them out to the car for you. So. When Dixie doesn't even have bag boys anymore. Nope, they've gotten rid that of. That is ridiculous. So the person who rings your groceries up is the same person who has to put them in a bag. So thus, you know what happens to the lines? The lines get long, get longer, right? And especially if they don't have anybody to help them put your bags in your cart to take to take them to, to the car. It you just, might as well go to all these and all uh, and, and save it, a lot and box it and up box yourself. It yourself and save some money because your Win Dixie is not a good grocery store anymore. I'm sorry. They're, I think they've made some some budget some budget mistakes that really um, carved into their public. I mean, to their customer service. And you know, whoever gets whoever wins the customer service battle wins. That's the deal. All right. Well. Uh, I think this is going to stop in a minute and we're almost there. So we'll talk to you a little bit later. There you go. All right. More editing. Yay. I love editing. One of my favorite things to do. Wait for rendering. One of my favorite things. Well, we had lunch. Everybody's doing well. They say hello. We'll share pictures. <laughs> we'll drop some pictures in. They're uh, a little camera shy, so we don't have any videos. No, so, you know, and I know a lot of people do that, but a lot of people just, get, I don't know, I guess we're not comfortable enough just to drop in the camera and the lighting, you know, at a restaurant, just start turning the place into a, a you know, a, a movie set. Uh, so there isn't any video. I think there's a couple of pictures that we'll drop in, probably about here. Okay, did you see? Um, now we're headed to Aldi's because, like we said, we're not going to um, not going to um, the Win Dixie to deal with that. Uh, I haven't heard back from them, so until I do, thank you. Uh, and it's positive, then we won't be do trying. To, we won't be doing any 
any videoing there. So we're, we're actually headed to our neighborhood, Aldi's. Wow. And, um... Target first. We're going, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to Target first. Yay. Target. Target. And um, then we're going to head over to Aldi's. Get some groceries. Get some stuff. And, of course, we'll let you see what we got uh, when we get back. All right, it's raining out here a little bit. It's real slippery. So I guess I should be paying attention. That would be it today? I'll do that. Talk to you later. Yeah, I know. All right, so we made it in, we made it in the Target. And uh, it doesn't seem like, even with all their cameras, that anyone's here to, to hunt me down and tackle me. Uh, we are looking at their candle um, selection, and they've got a lot. Good God. Sangria. Y'all probably think I'm lying. Sangria flavored sweet sangria. Uh, and I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of y'all already know this. Uh, and then the whole diffuser section stuff. Yeah, whatever. We bought a diffuser from CVS and it broke. <laughs> no, we ran out of filters. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work anymore. So strangely enough, we're here buying candles because our son um, has an affinity for them. Does that smell like detergent? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the detergent flavored candle which is always nice so you can feel like you're um, living in a uh, in a laundromat things that we used to call washerettes that smells like feet mm -hmm. uh, is that vanilla see I have a f tremendous schnoz so there's a whole bunch of them here they have nature's wick and what are these what are these things called Cantera. That's the one that smells like detergent. Yeah, the waterfall one smells like detergent. So if you want to every your house smell every room of your house smell like um, the laundry room, that's the one you get. And that one says snuggly sweater. It's, it looks like it's dirt. And it smells like dirt too. It smells like a wet dog actually. Doesn't it kind of smell like a wet dog? Yeah. That you tried to wash. It doesn't even sound like you tried to wash it. It's like, that's what it... Which one? Nah, that smells like soap, too. Oats and honey. It smells more like oats and soap. I'm guessing that most of these smell better when they're burning. I certainly hope so. He might like that. I guess that's not too bad. A caramel latte. A coffee-flavored candle. We've gone too far. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone too far. Okay, so that's it. We're done with our candle suggestion. Um, wherever we go, we'll take you with us. Alright, here's where it gets weird for me. We have a, a bunch of the cleaners that a lot of folks on YouTube use. Myers, Method, um... There's Myers, this method daily shower, I guess just for cleaning out your shower. This method for all purpose. We didn't have that it's color. I know. But this uh, is grapefruit flavored. I think we had No, we had a um, orange more of an orange before. It's gone. Yeah, we used it all. It actually worked out it, it works very well. So is that the grapefruit flavor? Is it going to be too strong a smell? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, it didn't bother me. Do you want to try the shower stuff? Yes. It's three bucks. Let's see how it was supposed to work. This is the it's the uh, daily shower. Now, this is not for showering bodies. This is for spraying in the shower. <laughs> and you do have to tell people that. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, if you spray it in, in, in there, it says it's a spray per day. Keeps the scrubbing away. There you go. So we'll see. We shall see, won't we? Let's see. I think that's, that's what we've come for, basically. We've got candles and shower spray. Oh, we need... They don't have... They don't have toilet clean, cleaner over here and this stuff. You figure, I mean, if you're going to go biologically safe, you'd have something something biologically safe next to your butt. Oh, what do you think? What's, what? It's seventh generation. This is what Marissa used. I was going to say, isn't that what she used? Yeah, because it's sensitive. Because that, that, I have to have stuff that's sensitive to my smell. Well, there you go. It's only three bucks. And we found it. It was my suggestion, but, but I found it. All right. What else now? No, because we can use the meth. The method actually works really good for the stove. Um, like I said, as long as you spray it down after it, after it cools off. Uh, you're pretty good. They make laundry detergent too. You know that? Method. Uh, the same. The same. Like 13 bucks. For like 66 loads. The same. Well, anyway, I was just, I was just, I was just saying, saying if you knew that they made them. There's the honest. Right there. Seventh generation. It's all about the same. About twelve bucks, thirteen bucks. You want to try? No, just, no, not if you, not if we're just trying to try. No. When the other ones are less expensive, no. Because <laughs> it says Purex. No. Natural elements. Like what? Like dirt? Dirt's a natural element. Uh, uranium is a natural element. <laughs> you wouldn't want any uranium in your, in, 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 in your washing powder, would you? Uranium. That's a natural element. It's radioactive, but it's it comes from nature. Newfangled Keurigs. Keurigs. Oh, if I like those. I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, I, don't like, I, don't like the, I don't like what they look like. They look plastic and cheap. And they cost more than the others. And they cost more than the others. I don't know. I know I thought they're like 80 bucks. I guess the next step up is an espresso. I'm, but this crap, quite frankly, seems complicated. Seems like you have to know what you're doing. I ain't got time for that. <laughs>